When college baseball was emerging from the shadows and becoming a major player on the college athletic scene, Tulane coach Joe Brockoff was a one-man show ensuring the Green Wave would be a force for the future. Under Brockoff's direction, Tulane would see the beginnings of a program that would develop into a nationally recognized baseball power. It all started in 1975 at a time when many college programs used assistant football coaches to head their baseball programs. Tulane went next door to Jefferson Parish and tapped up baseball man to head its time and program. And they selected one of the best players to ever play and coach at East Jefferson High School, Joe Brockoff, the East Jefferson 1956 outstanding athlete. And the man who coached the Warrior baseball team to two state championships and four district titles in six years. Brockoff's career record at East Jeff was 76 and 16. His high school coaching career was capped by being named Louisiana's Class 4A Coach of the Year in 70 and 72, and the New Orleans Coach of the Year in 1974. Brockoff would be building a program from the ground up, adding things that turned a baseball field into a baseball stadium and a stadium into a program in a city that loved baseball and would support a winning program. At Tulane, with almost no recruiting budget, Joe promised to build a program with the great local talent that surrounded the area, talent he knew was some of the best around. It meant working clinic after clinic to foster relationships that would be the foundation for the future of a winning Tulane baseball program. Joe would later write his own book on hitting for use by his players and at clinics. The book, complete with videotape, was titled The Complete Hitting Program. Once his system was in place in 1980, a Brockoff coached Green Wave team never hit less than 300, and that was in the era that included the wooden bats. Joe Brockoff won with style. Despite his stoic nature and ice-cold freezing stare, his good nature and understanding of the game was taught to his players in the same manner that it was taught to him as a player in high school, and during his stint in the New York Yankees organization, where he was tutored by such former greats as Bill Dickey, Charlie Silvera, and Jerry Coleman. Joe was often more colorful on the field than he was off. He was known to get in an umpire's face and make a point when necessary, even if it meant getting tossed. But there was always a method to his madness, whether to make a point or fire up his Green Wave squad. His distinguished career at Tulane spanned 19 seasons from 75 to 93. His record of 641 wins, 350 losses, and two ties comprises the most coaching victories in team history, including seven trips to the NCAA regionals. He had eight teams top the 70% win mark, including a record of 32 and 10 in 1977, 49 and 15 in 86, and 44 and 16 in 1987. Brockoff's teams won Metro Conference Tournament titles in 79, 82, and 92. He was named the Conference Coach of the Year in 1991, and his players earned all Metro honors a total of 30 times. He had seven athletes reach the major leagues, and a total of 32 were drafted by big league teams. Seven of his players earned All-America accolades, four were named freshman All-Americans, and two received academic All-American recognition. And remember, Brockoff accomplished this with higher tuition than almost all of his competition, meaning fewer walk-ons and smaller budgets. The history of Tulane baseball has seen four coaches span the ages. Ben Abadie, who started it all. Milt Retief, who continued the tradition and recommended Joe Brockoff to succeed him. Brockoff himself and current coach Rick Jones, who continues to raise the bar of excellence. In the later years, whether it was batting practice or during a game, when fans heard that familiar Joe Brockoff theme song, The Walk of Life, well, they knew it was Tulane Green Wave baseball time. Time to watch some of the best, coached by one of the best, play the game. Please welcome into the All-State Sugar Bowl's Greater New Orleans Hall of Fame, former player and outstanding coach, Joe Brockoff.